The South Thames Retrieval Service is a children's intensive care and transport service. We're based at the Evelina London Children's Hospital and we transfer critically unwell children and babies from their local hospital to an intensive care unit, usually within the South Thames region. So we have three intensive care ambulances for the South Thames Retrieval Service. They're all brand new, they came out in um, 2018 and they've been purpose built with future planning very much in mind. So we often find that when we have a new piece of equipment, keeping up to date with all the new technologies, we then have no way to secure it into the ambulance. So with the future proofing for these ambulances, we decided what we needed was an Intrax wall system so that the equipment could actually be located on a tracking system and could be removed and reconfigured depending on the patient's needs and requirements. So over here we've got our monitor, ventilator, suction unit, we've got four pumps but we have the ability for another um, four pumps to be added, we've got our Zoldi fib and then we've got spare back plates up here so we can add non-invasive nippy ventilation or trilogy ventilation um, or anything else that we need to add in the future. So we've also invested in a slave screen that links up to the Philips monitor. Each of the um, medical personnel can see the monitor at any point. And the actual Philips monitor does move around, so on the bracket you can turn it one way or another, depending on the needs of the patient. So this is a fogging system, and it's so that we can decontaminate the ambulances after any patients that have been transferred with infectious diseases, and also on a weekly basis, without having to call in an external team to do it. So the black box is um, a DVD so that any of the children that are not intubated and awake are able to watch something that keeps them amused for the journey. Although most of them fall asleep because it's a very secure ambulance that um, doesn't have much vibrations or rattles so they do go to sleep very quickly in the ambulance. So the ambulances have got lots of storage, baby pods, all the airway equipment, ventilation, infection control and access. So we've got also by the clinician, the lead clinician seat, then they can actually administer any medicines that they need to or draw up any drugs whilst they're still sitting in their seat belt with their seat belt on and um, being safe. Another drawer that's got IO needles, glucometers, cannulation, a few vomit bags. And then the most important drawer for the staff is the snack box. So there's a couple of drinks, crisps or biscuits, and then extra paperwork and torches. There's a little cupboard. So we've got extra storage. There's one under the medical seat. So that our guidelines, SOPs, um, and parent information can be stored neatly and got out quickly. One of the extra features is we've had a, a control panel by the nurse's seat so that they can work the air conditioning and the heater without having to disturb the doctor. So we also have these little baskets to hold our paperwork and information for the parents. And we have USB chargers at each seat so that the parents can charge their phones. We had a very big skyline so that people wouldn't feel as sick in the ambulances. And it's certainly done the trick. We're not having very many people refusing to go out on retrieval because they're feeling um, nauseous whilst they're out in the ambulance also an escape hatch so it's lovely and big everybody can get through it and we have a red strip in several locations four locations so if we have any emergencies in the ambulance we can just press the button and the whole of the ambulance will be recorded um, for two to three minutes warning CCTV in operation you are being recorded